Well, I'm Aquila Nash, and I want to welcome you to the Prophetic Whisper. This is an exciting day that the Lord has made just for you. That's right. If you will trust Him, that this will be a wonderful day in your life, I believe the Lord can cause it to be a wonderful day. Perhaps you say, Aquila, you don't know what I'm going through. You don't know the difficulties I face. Well, I know in spite of those things, hon, that the Lord can move in your life and work miracles in spite of those things. So let's take the Word and stand on the authority of the Word. Let me share some of your wonderful mail with you. Here is someone that has written me from Australia and says, Hi, Aquila, thanks for your prayers. A few months ago, you broadcast a story about a girl who had epilepsy, and you prayed for those who suffered with this problem. I haven't had any seizures so far, praise the Lord. And you know, we have seen numbers of healings for people that have seizures, and it's just been miraculous what God has done. So honey, since you have not had a seizure, that is a good indication that the Lord has worked a healing in your life, so stand on it. And I will also be praying for your other prayer requests that you've given me. This person says, Dear Aquila, you're a blessing to all the Christian Arabs. And they go on and say, I feel so happy that TBN recognized the Christian Arab. I am from Egypt, and I have been in the United States since 1987. They asked me to pray about a court hearing, and then they go on and say, also, one night you prophesied about a problem around a house that was vacant for a long time, and an amount of money will be received. I said, you were talking to me. He says, I have a property that was vandalized several times, but God helped me to fix it back. He said, I could not find the right tenant. I kept it vacant for almost a year and I couldn't sell it. I couldn't rent it. I went through financial debt because of this particular property. After you prophesied that night, I got a tenant, but the process takes a long time and I'm waiting for the check to come. So please pray. Listen, prayer changes things. One word from God can and will change your life, and you want to just accept the word of the Lord when you hear it. Remember, if you hear a word, then accept that word. Just say, if it applies to your situation, say, Lord, I received that word. I believe it's for me. And here is uh, Barbados, someone from Barbados. In the Caribbean, I saw your program today, and I just want to thank you for encouraging me today. And they go on and talk about how that God has blessed them in their, their church there. And here, please pray for our ministry that the Lord would fill us with his power to help all these hurting people that come to us. So I will do that, certainly. From South Africa, salvation for our whole family. Some are saved, but some are not. And please pray for new contracts in our business. So I'm reading these just to say to you, we receive your letters and your emails, and I'm telling you that God is moving in people's lives, and he wants to move in your life today, and we believe with you for miracles. I have a wonderful teaching for you concerning the power of the Word and the words that you speak. And you won't want to miss this very important teaching. And at the close of the program, we'll go to our place of prayer and I'll share with you the things that the Holy Spirit speaks and we will believe God for miracles in your life. So come and go with me now to the Word. Do you know that your words actually can bring forth destiny in your life? That's right. What kind of words are you speaking? Are you speaking faith-filled words? Are you speaking words of doubt, fear, and unbelief? Words are powerful. Many people do not realize how powerful their words are. But I can promise you, whatever you speak can determine 
how things are going to turn out. You say, oh, well, I don't believe in just that mind over matter thing and, and positive confessions and all that. I just stand on the word and so on and so forth. Let me give you some word today. And I can show you in the scriptures that words are very powerful. And those words won't return void. They will produce something in and around your life. It took me years to really realize the power in words, but I can tell you today, I recognize that it, we need to speak the positive things of the Word of God. You know, my mom and dad were good Christian people, and even as a little child, I can remember my mom saying things to me when I would say something negative. She would say, don't say that, honey. Don't, don't make those kind of confessions. That's right. That was long before any of the faith teachers were teaching about, you know, the, the power of the word and positive, uh, speaking positive and so on. But as a child, I was taught you want to be careful the words that you're speaking. So we're going to look at some word today because since words are so powerful and sometimes they can just seem so small and unimportant, but I want you to go with me today to the book of Job. And I want to share some scripture with you. <clears throat> and let's just see what the word has to say. In Job, the 38th chapter, verse 8, reading down. Who shut up the sea with doors when it burst forth and issued from the womb? When I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling band, when I fixed my limit for it, and I set bars and doors when I said, This far you may come, but no further, and here your proud waves must stop. Now, I want you to know that God has his decreed word in the sands of the sea. That's right. Go down to any great ocean, and you go out on the beach, and you will see here are these uh, beautiful beaches, and, and you can pick up and, and take a, a handful of the sand that's along the ocean front. And many times as you let that sand just sift through your fingers and you think those little grains of sand are so tiny, they, they can't amount to very much because they seem so insignificant. They're just tiny, tiny grains of sand. Yet God's decreed word was in and is in the sands of the sea. And he's telling us in this scripture, he said, I set boundaries for the sea with these tiny grains of sand. And I said to that, uh, that great ocean, you can come thus far and no further. Why? Because the decreed word of God is in the sands of the, of the sea, and God has set those boundaries. I'm telling you, your words are like the sand of the sea. They may seem small, they may seem insignificant, but in reality, they are very, very powerful because they can produce life or they can produce death. The scripture says that power of life and death is within the tongue. That's right. And so we have the opportunity to speak good things, to speak life-filled words, to speak things that create good things and create blessings, or we can be negative and speak those things that create fear, doubt, and unbelief. Did you know as a parent, you also have a lot to do with the way your children grow up. Are they going to grow up in fear? Are they going to grow up thinking they don't know how to do anything? Are they going to think that they are not, a, they have no value? As a parent, whatever we speak around our children causes their little lives to be molded in certain ways. And if you are always speaking doubt or fear around and into the, the lives of those children, those children grow up in fear and doubt. That's why many children, they can't sleep night. Many children have other problems. And it's because they do not have an atmosphere around their life that creates blessing. What we want to do with our children, for example, and you know, this is just something God's dropping in my heart right now. So I'm talking to someone. I'm talking to someone. If you begin to tell that little boy or that little girl 
that you are blessed because they're in your life, that they have great qualities in their life, that they are a blessing, that they can do those things in life that they want, desire to do. If you create in them love and affection, that's what's going to be in that child. But if you talk hate and if you just speak against people, mean hurtful words or speak against your little children with hurtful words, I've heard mothers say horrible things to the little children. I mean, I've heard them say such horrible things, it just, it just make me cringe to hear some of the words that they would say. And I watched those children grow up with some real problems in and around their lives. So what kind of words are you speaking? If you need healing today, are you speaking faith-filled words? Do you realize that your words have power within them? That they can create good and they can create bad? Do you know medical science has proven that? Some time ago, I read a lengthy article of how that they took a number of cancer uh, patients and they had people praying over this group of cancer patients, speaking good things over these people that were undergoing treatment. And then they had this other group of cancer patients and no one's praying for them. No one's speaking any good things like the word of God over their life. And now, Neither one of these groups knew that people were praying or not praying for them. It was a blind study, they call it. No one knew about this. They said, however, this group that had people praying over them and for them and people speaking good things like the Word of God around these people's lives. They didn't go and lay hands on the people and pray. No, the people were unaware they were being prayed for. But do you know the medical studies proved out that those people that were receiving prayer and that peop other people were speaking the Word over their life, those people got uh, uh, good reports and did far, far better than those over here that no one is, is ministering into their life. There's no good things being ministered. Now, you just think if there are those that's, they're having negative things said over their life. See, blessings and curses are in the power of the tongue. And because I talk so much about healing on this program and we believe for miracles on this program, I felt it very important to share with you today that you would recognize the power of words. If you're going through a difficult time and you need healing, don't get around people that are always negative. Don't get around uh, people that say things like, well, you know, I had an, uh, an aunt or an uncle or a brother or sister. They died with what you have. Don't hang out with that kind of people. Get around people that talk the word of God and people who build you up in faith, people who tell you that all things are possible with God and all things are possible with those who will believe. Believe. See, there's power, great power in your words. Mark 11 and verse 22 and 3 are very familiar passage of Scripture, but let me share this with you and always realize there are people that watch me from the nations of the world that have never heard this Scripture before. Do you hear me? I'm ministering to many, many people who have just come to realize Jesus Christ is the Son of God. So don't go to thinking, oh, well, that's just such simple truth that she puts out there. I know all those things. Don't go there because there are a multitude of people that need these words. Jesus answered the disciples, said, have faith in God. One translation says, have the God kind of faith. Hallelujah. Have the God kind of faith. God calls those things that are not as though they were. Amen? And that's what we need to do. For assuredly I say to you, whoever, would you say whoever? See, that means you. That means me. Whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast in the sea and does not doubt in his heart, that's the key does not doubt in his heart, but believes, say believes, that those things he says, those things he says, come on, I'm talking about the power of words today, the things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Hallelujah. Do you hear that? He will have, he that believes, he that speaks to the mountain. He will have whatever he says. Now, 
Here in this case, Jesus is talking to him about mountain moving faith. He's talking about the fact that anything is possible with a person that believes. Jesus wasn't interested in trying to uh, change uh, the landscape and get a mountain out of the way or something. He is telling us something. He said, your problem may be as big as a mountain. It may look impossible to move, but I tell you, if you will speak to that mountain of that situation around your life and you will trust and believe, you will have whatsoever you say. Oh, yes, you have what you say. And so as we speak in faith, trusting the Lord, we can see God moved. So that's a powerful statement that he's made. We always want to ask in line with the word. See, stay with the scripture. <laughs> you know, I had to, this is kind of uh, maybe a, a, a sideline here, but I had a young man come to me one time and he, he hadn't really been walking with the Lord a long time and didn't understand about uh, the power of confession and, and all this. So he's a single man and he learned that there was some woman in another church across the way that was telling people, I claim that man and I'm going to have him. I'm going to marry that man. And, and I'll never forget, he came to me and he said, I, I know the Bible says we can have whatever we say. And she says, that's what she's doing. But I don't want that woman. Will God make me marry her? And, and I laughed and I said, no. So when I tell you stay in line with the word, I mean, stay in line with the word. Go to the word. What does the word say regarding your situation, regarding the problem maybe that you're facing today? God wants you well. God wants you to prosper. Oh, yes, he wants you to prosper. Third John 2, beloved, I would above all things that you prosper and that you be in health as your soul prospers. That's what God's will is for your life, that you be a blessed person. I can't tell everyone that you're going to turn out to be a millionaire. I don't do things like that. I don't. In fact, quite honestly, I, I've never asked God not one time in my life to make me rich or make me a millionaire. Why, Aquila? Because he's blessed me. I'm comfortable. And that's just not where my heart is unless I could use it to, to help other people in some way. But I do know this. God wants to bless us and prosper us. First of all, in the things of the Spirit, do you know you can't have prosperity in the things of the natural if your spirit is not prosperous in God? God wants you to be built up in faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of the Lord. He wants you to be strong in the Lord in the power of God's might. He wants you to depend totally and completely upon him and ask things that are in line with the holy word of God. So you can create blessings or you can create curses around your life. Be careful of the things you say. Don't hang out with people that are always just scattering negative words around you. Don't hang out with them. I don't even want to be around people like that. I want to be around people that build me up, encourage me, strengthen me, make me feel that I can do anything through the Lord Jesus Christ. The word also says in the book of Job 22 and 28, you will also declare a thing. King James says, you shall decree a thing and it will be established for you so that light will shine on your ways. What are you declaring? Decree the good word of the Lord. Let the word, you know, let the word be made manifest. See, your words will either bind you to your problems or they'll release you from your problems. Let me say that again. The words you're speaking will bind you to those problems or they will release you from those problems. You want to be released from sickness and disease. You want to be released from fear and poverty. Begin to speak. Oh, there are people watching me in other nations of the world. You, do, you need so much in the natural. There are so many things that you really and truly need. I'm talking about physical things around your life. You, God wants to bless you. You say, Aquila, I see no hope. I don't see how that I can ever own some kind of a home. I don't see how that I can ever have a lot more than what I have right now. Let me encourage you. Wherever you are, you can hear me today. Just begin to speak the things of the word. 
If you have a Bible, get into the Word of God and look for the promises of God. Just begin to confess those promises over your life. I've watched people uh, come out of the ghettos of nations. I mean, people that had nothing. I've watched God bring them out and do great and marvelous things in their life. God wants to do that in your life today. The Word says in Matthew 16 and 19, the Lord says, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. You, with your words, can loose the blessings of God around you and your family, around your job, around your business, around everything that touches your life. Don't, don't speak negative things. I don't care how the situation looks. Don't say, you know, we're never going to have any blessings. Don't say that I don't have money and no, I don't have any way of ever getting any money. Don't say those things. Just simply say, I believe God. God will make a way for me where there seems to be no way. You know, I never have all the time. I want to share the scriptures with you. I have made up my mind, however, to just allow the Holy Spirit of God to flow and trust God and the power of His Spirit to cause me to say the things I need to say each time I come on the program. But in reality, I have so much more Word that I would love to just pour into you today. Would you come and go with me to our place of prayer and let's just believe God for miracles around your life. Come and go with me. What words? are you confessing today? Your words are full of power. God's Word is full of power. Yet the words that we speak, they're powerful. And the Lord wants you to confess the good Word of the Lord. I want you to make a confession with me right now. I want you to just say with me, Lord, I believe I can do all things. I believe you strengthen me. I believe that you make me bold and let my words, and that my words are full of power. And Father, I am trusting you today to move mountains in my life. I confess I need you. I need your power. I need your anointing. But I have your power and I have your anointing through the Holy Spirit of God that dwells within me. So today I speak to the mountains that stand against my life, and I commend them to move. Right now, I want you to say to that mountain, if it's sickness, say, you mountain of sickness, move in the name of Jesus. If it's poverty, the devil's trying to steal the blessings of God away from your life, you say, I speak to poverty. You say, well, Aquila, I'm really not poverty stricken, but I have needs. I see it as a spirit. You say to po poverty, you leave my life in the name of Jesus. I believe that wealth and blessings of God come to me. I believe that I have the home I need and desire. I believe I have the automobile that I need. I believe that my children have the schooling that they need. See, you begin to create things around your life through the power of the words that you speak. God wants to bless you today. He wants to supply all of your needs according to His riches in glory. That's right. I sometimes tell people, heaven is not bankrupt. Heaven is not bankrupt. Everything we can ever need has already been provided for through Jesus Christ. You say, I believe today I receive that job. I believe I have a good business and that God will prosper my business. There are a number of business people, men and women, that you have uh, gone into different types of business. I see someone that has some kind of a bookstore but is struggling. I see someone that has something that is uh, dealing with, uh, with uh, food products. Maybe it's like a, a supermarket or a small supermarket or something. I see someone that is dealing with food products, but is struggling. I see someone that has started some kind of a little vegetable. This is just what I'm seeing. Literally like you grow vegetables. 
but you're having trouble getting them marketed some way. And God, I see the Spirit of God working in those things. You say, Aquila, can you really say that? I can say anything the Holy Spirit puts in my heart to say on this program. And I'm telling you, that is exactly, I see those three definite, distinct things. And there are many of you that have other situations. But right now, I say through the authority of the Word of God that God is bringing divine provision to your house. Thank you, Jesus, for divine provision. Thank you, Lord, for removing every hindering force. I thank you, Father. There's a lady watching me today. Your husband has left you with two small children, and you honestly do not know how that you're going to take care of those little children. God says, I'm going to give you a job position. You're going to be able to work out of your home in some type of a job position, and it's something that you have considered before. I am confirming to you today that God is going to bless you in that business in your home so that you can take care of those children. Please let me hear from you. Would you do that? Let me say whatever the needs are today, I am in agreement with you that those needs are met in Jesus' name. I want to ask you to do something. As the Holy Spirit speaks to you through this program, would you please write me? Tell me what God is doing in your life. Please let us hear from you so that we can share these great testimonies. You know, you, many times we get to share these things. However, I know from dealing with people over many years, I've had people come back five and 10 and even 20 years after some great miracle occurred and then they would be again telling me about it. Don't, don't do that, please. Let us hear from you and let Dr. Crouch hear from you concerning this program. It will be a blessing to them and they need to know that you enjoy the prophetic whisper. Send them a little uh, gift, a little offering and help them because of this sponsor, that the fact they sponsor this program and, and by, it's really through them that I can come to you. So let us hear from you. We love you. We look forward to seeing you next time. Stand on the authority of the Word of God. Speak faith-filled words. Listen, as you speak the words of life, it will create life. If you speak death and destruction, it creates death and destruction. But you are to speak life and peace and joy, and it will happen in your life. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.